Hello guys, this is Unnamed and in this video we are going to see how to install buffer panel in code sandbox. In this video I will show you the everything, whatever is it and I will show you how to get the free credits in the next video, not in this video. So let's see how to get the unlimited credits or something like that in the next video. Over here, firstly to start this we are not going to create it simply like over here but you have to join my discord server once you join it over here you can see this you can come here click on my this thing name over here you can see show all channels this should be ticked or else the channel which i show won't appear for you so to see the thing just see here you can see buffer panel i will make this public you have to click the first link over there once you click on it it let it load or here you can see this is a five step ad page this is for supporting me i hope you people will support me thanks for supporting this much till now and keep supporting me and i'll complete this process and join you now here you can see it's done this is the last page have to wait 5 seconds and press on get link so you can see this thing will open let the thing load or here you can see click on fork now let's wait till this thing loads you can see this uh, pop-up message came you can just dismiss it it's not an issue now let this load you have to come back to my discord server or here before that you, before you come you can see here let me close this go to the dashboard of your code sandbox once you go to the dashboard of code sandbox click on the three dots and make this as public you can see make public make it public then you can open it once more Now here you should restart the dev box by clicking on that and you need to reload the window. You can see it's installing the everything, it's restarting. Or here come to my discord server click on the second link which you can find here once you click on it you'll get directed to a media fire link at the last page this would be the txt file you have to download it and open the txt file and let's copy the first command over here i'm gonna paste it press enter no sorry it did not come properly so let me do it again so i'll paste it and press enter you can see it's installing, let it install. Now as you can see it's installed, now let's come back to the notepad where the txt file is. Copy this command sudo buffer user add and press your username, type your username. Then type your email. Then type your password. then confirm your password and is it admin yes type y and press enter you can see user is added and everything is done now you can see here this thing copy this command sudo system enable something like that and then you can see sorry the bracket came in middle now let me paste it again correctly you can see this thing came you can open it directly from your open externally or you can come here and click on the globe symbol and click on open let us wait till this loads you can see this buffer panel and everything you can see uh, type your email and type your password 
and then login you can see here you can come to the settings over here you can change your company name that's thing and everything I'm not gonna change it you, you know how to change it you can see the node is already added we are going to run the node in the same code sandbox this thing whatever VPS you can see we're gonna run it in the same thing and let's add a server here we're not gonna set up node or anything it's already set up you okay, gonna type a server name I'm gonna type it in one select the Minecraft Java edition and over here you need to change the port to 19100 or you can keep it the same it's not an issue your version will be it's your wish i'm gonna type it 1.16.5 although i'm not gonna play the game and show you you can see you can choose paper over here you can change your java version you need to give the build number once you come to my discord you can see here this thing paper builds just click on it you can come here you can see you can select your designated thing and press paste it over here then create the server and press on install let us wait until it installs you can see the server is installed over here come to the notepad copy this plug it command which you all know if you watch the previous thing and paste it over here before pasting you need to close this open a new terminal and paste it over here sorry that this thing was wrong it will be w get and then you can see here copy this last two commands and paste it over here and you can press control click on it and open this you need to open it i can copy and paste it or control plus click anything works Now here you have to be logged in. I'm already logged in into your, my plate account. Now you can see waiting for agent. You need to continue and add the agent. Now it's checking this thing. Let it do its work. You can see here the server is created. Let's come to this files and then you'll txt and make this as true. It will be false. You need to make it as true. And then save it and come to your console and start the server. It's gonna start can see here create the tunnel and tunnel type will be minecraft java and add the tunnel you can see tunnel is pending let it get completed you can see this thing is created you need to change your local port to 19100 or you, whichever you assigned it in the buffer panel you can copy this link you can join through this link or here you can see this thing works so you can see the TPS and everything it's perfect you can add a plugins you need to reload once then you can see all your files and everything in this another great thing is we can use the SFTP thing which I'll show you you can see plugins over here you can add your plugins you can see the statistics and everything and you can come to your settings you can change the settings and everything the memory the i no not you can change not type address but you can change the other things the modded and everything or here the sftp thing you can copy these things and put it with win scp or file seal or something and over here you can see this thing port is also active you can see backup and everything you know what to do and the console you can see here everything is working perfectly you can see say hi and everything works perfectly and you can stop the server you can add more servers and everything that's it for this video hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and in the next video i'll show you how to get unlimited credits and one more thing if anyone have or host any vps or anything if you feel to sponsor me you can sponsor me i'm just gonna use it for my yt youtube video and i would give it back to you i won't use it for my personal use it would be helpful for you also for others also thank you for watching hope you like the video like the video and bye bye